Hello and welcome to this update to Hair Strand Designer. This is version 1.71.0, uh, updated on the 22nd of September. Now, what's new is there's this copy and paste feature and some shortcut keys H, J, and K to overlay depth and AO mixes if you've generated them. This gives you some idea of how the strands could look if you were to composite certain uh, passes together. I fixed the randomization saving, which uh, I somehow missed out some code uh, for the uh, saving and loading. It's It worked okay for auto-saving, but not for uh, when you actually load and save manually. And uh, there's a new thing where you can randomize all sets when no set is selected. So I'm going to show you these things. Um, so let's get started. So the dice here, when you click it, uh, it's going to add a randomization. As you can see, the seed value changes for each. Now, if you do have a set selected, it's only going to randomize that particular set. And if you do have a number you want to enter here, press F1. And if you want to give it a set value like one here, and we can do the same here. If you press F1 and click one, that means both of those are going to get the same seed value. You can always change it again like that. Okay, so if you try do the dice again, it won't uh, randomize everything because what happens is once it has randomized everything, it's acted as an override. So it's basically forced it to be uh, that number. And now to randomize again, you would have to um, go to each one and randomize manually. But it just gives you that first initial shuffle uh, that makes your your um, hairs unique to your uh, when you run the application. So. So there's another feature I want to show you is the copy paste feature. So if you decrease the number of strands here, for example, and increase the length and the spacing and any other things, waviness, tapering, variation. Okay, let's just increase the strands a bit more and also do a little bit of Some of this and yep, so we can do something like that. And let's say I want that information to uh, another set so I can modify it. So I'm going to copy and click six and then do paste. And we're going to get exactly the same. It's also going to copy the seed value. So if you do want it slightly different again, just click the dice and you can kind of move these over each other to get a kind of nice bunch there and then you can always increase the number of strands for each so yeah that's kind of what i've been doing there now of course if you want to still change the global values just right click to come off any of the selections and i'm going to bring these down so that everything that's not already had an override ie when it's selected then it's going to just go to like these values so i can still decrease the number of strands for each that's not been overrode when you copy and paste from one to another it acts as an override so uh, those won't be affected by the global ie when you right click and you decrease the number of strands these won't be affected anymore so that's just something to bear in mind um increase the tapering here bring that down a bit and yeah i can add that over here right so let's just say this is your bunch of hairs you could do like way more here but i just want to show you what else is new so if you generate your color uh depth and ao map i'm going to set this by clicking here to <coughs> to wide because i like wide a little bit better and uh, we're going to generate these three. Okay, so I've got my color map here, depth map, and AO map. And with the AO map selected, I'm just going to click blur a few times. 
like that and that's just going to help soften it a bit you can do more if you want in photoshop this isn't the best blurring algorithm but it does a good job uh, so if you're on the color map and you press j it's going to overlay the ao map if you press k it's going to show you the, the depth map and if you press h uh, it's the depth map sorry if you press k it actually tells you what it is here it's ao and depth mixed together so depth is sort of added and ao is multiplied so you see this kind of more interesting look and then h is just the depth map added over so it kind of enhances a bunch this is just me just playing with the two layers you can play with these however you like once you've exported them so once you've got this depth map out in photoshop you can play with exactly how they're composited i've been considering making a compositor side to this where once you've made a bunch of hairs like this so let's say for example you had no other hairs in just this bunch and then you could recomposite it and it would bring all your layers in but it could get a little bit complicated so i'll think about it in the long run anyway uh doing things in photoshop isn't so bad you know uh so there's your so-called bunch of hairs there and uh so again like if you've got your depth map and you press h that's gonna uh, show your depth map over your color so it gives it a bit more push where it's uh, lighter and where it's darker it kind of leaves it nothing and uh, if you press j is your ao map multiplied over and then k is combination of both which is kind of what you would want um, so I don't know if there's anything else to cover here I think that's really it um, there was a couple of little bugs from before not that the previous not showing anything right now I don't know why that is but if it does that just click somewhere it will re-render um, yeah so I think everything's working fine so let's just do a test save uh, desktop here and F6 to reset let's say we don't want to auto load then we're going to load our test yeah, and that all looks fine and every time you load you have to regenerate the maps because it only holds them in local memory for a while until you until you export them um, so that's all good I think that's all working as expected um, but any bugs do let me know thanks for watching bye